واهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين اما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في القران الكريم وقوله حق وهو اصدق الصادقين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ان الله يا يظلم نفسا ان الله لا يظلم الناس شيئا ولكن الناس انفسهم يظلمون رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقده من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام عليكم جميعا ورحمه الله وبركاته our discussion is in continuation from the previous lecture that is life satisfaction which is one of the most important aspect of our life that we all want to be satisfied in our life there are few terms which is very important but due to the shortage of time i would not explain in detail you can see or yourself the difference between satisfaction happiness and well being my objective here is to discuss about about the sad life satisfaction so we reached a point if you can see in the slides if it's there the next slide is about the satisfaction which we are talking about is a holistic approach towards your life what does satisfaction means when i a person ask you are you satisfied in your life how you are going to reply to that person what will you see in your life so that you can say that i am satisfied so the satisfaction is divided for example individual satisfaction collective satisfaction in my personal life my satisfaction with my family my satisfaction with myself my satisfaction in other things so it can be in various aspects but we are not looking on the various aspects we are just looking as a journal in journal when we say i am satisfied it means i am having a satisfactory feeling so how is my feeling the important question is how you are thinking because thinking leads to feelings that is what we discussed last time the way i think the same way i am going to feel and the way you are going to feel you are going to act your behavior is got according to your feeling so this is a journal formula journal rule with exceptions today i will touch touch few points about it so that it's it should be clear for us that whenever i am feeling bad sad or depressed i should know it's coming from my thinking there's something here problem because of which i am feeling and this is causing me problem because of which i cannot concentrate when i work when i interact with people when i do something for myself there is a problem coming in my life so if my thinking is correct then i will not have any issues with my feelings and when my feelings are okay my behavior will be normal so there will be no issues with me myself and others my family my society my community there will be no issues so the problem in the thought process is when we don't see reality as real and we expect the unexpectation which we have from that reality so if your thinking is not correct it's not real the things will not happen the way you are thinking because it's not real so if i think that i want to contribute in a charity a big amount but in my pocket there is no money so this is not a reality that i can contribute because in my pocket there is no money so it's not according to the reality so let me give an example for example if i say to myself that sheikh you are a sheikh so can you put 2 liter water in 1 liter bottle let's suppose you are a sheikh you can do it recite a dua amma yujib and then it will happen it's not going to happen 2 liter of water is not going to come in 1 liter bottle it's not possible but if i feel sad about it that why it is not happening god i want it to happen i have i pray so many times i have asked so many times but it should happen i am your honest and loyal person i am your abd 
and I want this to happen, it is not happening, it is not going to happen because 2 litre water cannot come in 1 litre, it is not in the capacity of 1 litre to digest 2 litre. So, this thinking is wrong, my expectation from the reality is wrong, it is not a reality, it is a false. So, in our life we keep expectations from others which is not real, that is why we face problems in our relationship. Father's expectation from son and son's expectation from father, sometimes it is not real because we do not understand each other. We do not know what is in their minds and they do not know what is in our mind. So, our expectations are not real, that is why it is not happening, it is not working out. We are not working as a team because we do not understand each other's expectations and there is no one there to bridge it also, to clear it, to make it easy to understand each other. Same thing is with husband and wife. Because I am a man, I have certain feelings, I want my wife to have the same feelings. She cannot have it, she is a feminine gender, her feelings are different. I want to convince her logically all the time and she says, yes I understand, but from inside she says, no I am not going to agree. My feeling is not allowing me, because they are a female gender, they have, their emotions are different. We are more logical, they are more emotional, they are emotionally intelligent we are logically intelligent. So, we have to understand each other's framework so that we can work together. But if we will not understand our expectations will not be according to the reality then we will face problems and that is what is happening in our life. That is on this area. So, your thinking should be realistic. So, your expectations are realistic and then you are going to get the result. So, let us go to the next slide and see the frame. Can we go to the next slide please? So, as I mentioned that realistic approach will bring realistic expectations and that realistic expectations will give you satisfaction. That is one of the basic rule. You can when you will have real expectations then you can get satisfaction otherwise you will not. If I consider you as a young man and I expect you to lift 200 kg because I have seen a weight lifter were lifting 200 kg. So, is my expectation right from you my brother? No, he is not a weight lifter, but because I have seen a man lifting 200 kg and he is also a man, he should lift 200 kg. This is not my real expectation, he is not a weight lifter. This is we need to practice, we need to think like this that is my thinking according to the capacity and reality of the situation or not, otherwise it is not going to work. So, the formula is we need to think in realistic approach, then our expectation should be from to the real in a realistic way so that we can get satisfaction in life. This is one frame, it is not a rule, it is not a law which I am saying here. If you will think the way you will think, the way you will feel, the way you will feel, the way you will behave. I am breaking what I said. What I said is this is a general rule, but it has exceptions. For example, now this rule is going to break. For example, somebody has a diabetes, maybe one of you may have diabetes, sugar and doctor said no sweets, no mithai, but each day somebody came with mithai and they said please take sweets. You say no, 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 I have sugar, I cannot take because you know it is harmful. Your thinking says no sugar, no, no mithai, no sweets, but your heart says today is Eid, you know exceptions are there, just take it once, little, not more. So, your logic is saying do not take it, it is harmful, but your emotions are saying just today, recite salawat and eat it, nothing will happen. So, sometimes these laws gets broken because of exceptions. There are other dynamics, I am not discussing it right now because this is not the time. Some other time I will show you another diagram with another exceptions where there is logic, there is emotion working together. For example, there was a clip of uh, Akhilul Gharavi, Ayatul Akhilul Gharavi in his speech he was saying that God has given us two things. One is intellect, akal and the other thing is heart. Akal, you go for marifat, height of marifat of God, and from heart you do ishq of God. 
So when you combine these two, you become a perfect being from logical point of view and from emotional point of view. So these two things should work together. So let's go to the next slide and see what's the message, next message to this. The other problem which we face in our lives is about conditions. So one of the problems, we don't get satisfaction in life, our reality is not real. Our expectation is not according to the reality so that we don't get satisfaction. This is one. The second problem is we put conditions in our life. If, for example, for a young boy, he says that I will marry a girl who is rich. If she is not rich, I am not going to marry. Maybe you will, not, you will not get a girl. Maybe somebody will not marry you. You have put a condition yourself and you are in trouble. I will work in a multinational company, otherwise I will not work. You may not get a job. Then what will happen? You will suffer. So you are putting conditions which are not right. You are putting yourself into trouble. So you are, you are saying, my son is not honest to me. He cheated me. Until he comes and says sorry to me, I will not forgive him. Now, because of feeling, feeling bad, he's not coming and saying to you sorry. And you're also not forgiving him. So it's almost 10 years, 15 years, no communication between father and son. You have put a condition. This condition is not logical. But we put conditions in our life and we make our life into problems. You can make your life easy. If you will say that if my brother knows that I am in need and he is not helping me, I will not go and tell him. He should know himself what is my condition. So you have put a condition yourself. You are putting yourself into problem by putting conditions. Please reduce these conditions, minimize it, and enjoy your life. Why do you see that when I will become rich, then I will be happy? This is your condition. You will become rich at the age of 50, 60, and then for all these 20, 30 years, you will be suffering because you want to reach happiness at that age with so that much amount of money and bank balance. By the time you will reach there, you will realize what I've done. This is not giving me satisfaction, which I thought because it was not real. Materialistic thing doesn't give you satisfaction. Then again, the frustration will start. So satisfaction is it in that time where you are at your present time. If you learn to be happy and satisfied the way you are, you will enjoy your life. But if you will keep your satisfaction at a very high level, you will never be satisfied. That is what Holy Prophet said. A person who has high expectations will never be at ease. He will never be at satisfaction. He will always be disappointed. So this, these conditions are put by ourselves and we are into trouble. And we are never satisfied because of that. So these two things are the one of two of the major things. In, in next session, we will discuss furthermore that what are the other things which takes away our satisfaction from ourselves by our own hand. The so first thing is the knowledge of reality. The second thing is we should not put conditions to be happy and satisfied. We should take the life as it is. Now we know we are in recession. Everything is expensive. We know that there is no earning. So if I think, no, if I will not earn the way I was earning, I'm going to feel bad. Because I was earning $10,000 a month, now I'm earning $4,000 a month, I cannot be happy. So God bless you then. You will never be happy. So I have put a condition and I'm not happy. So ask two questions to yourself. Do I have problem in life? Do I have problem in life? or I have problem with life. If you have problem in life, something can be done. But if you have problem with life, God bless you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace out, salawat.